Hi there, and welcome to another session from the Air Users blog. And it's another session to show you how to get some of the sound you're hearing in the charts right now. This time it's uh, Chris Brown, yeah. And I'm going to quickly show you a bit of the track that I'm going to be working on. But the synth sounds I'm going to be using are used throughout the whole track. So I wanted to just pick out a part that we could uh, work around and have a listen to. So this is the part of the track we're going to try and emulate. You let it drink. Yeah. So there it is, and what I'm identifying is that uh, synth part that's doing the kind of RP sound, and the bass part, and the drums as well. Now they're pretty straightforward actually, and I want to show you something in Expand, because we're going to use all the things that you get either with Pro Tools 8 or Pro Tools 9 free, so we're not going to use any additional synths that you'd have to buy or download, this is all the stuff built in. Now, one thing that people probably aren't aware of within Expand, or if they are, they don't really know how to use it, is that right down in one of the bottom menus here called Basics, you get all the basic building blocks to make synth sounds. So we get square waves, saw waves, pulse waves, triangle waves. Those sounds actually, the, the synth sound itself is made up of a simple square wave. It's uh, used in that, uh, Keisha uses it as well. It's a lot in the charts at the moment. So this is how the sound's made. So let me just turn the other stuff off for a second. I'm gonna show you one of the parts and we're just gonna play it in its basic form. So let's put the synth on. Now if you can see, I've got two MIDI channels set on the same channel, and I've got them set the same. Because what I've then done is I've bought the second, the same again, I've got that in as well. If you can hear it's panned off, so I'm going to turn this one over to here, turn both of them on, and then what we do, if we come up to the parts here, is we detune them. And what detuning does is it gives that chorus effect, and it thickens it up. So here's one on its own, back in the middle. Here's two. And the detune thickens it up. And that's basically made from a poly square. What it means by poly is it means it will play more than one note at a time, and we need that. And the second thing is we have a mono square, which is going to be used in a second for the bass. We've got polyphonic squares and mono squares. And so if we now come to the bass, the bass is again just a square, but used differently. So if we put the bass on, and then down here, and see, I've got my settings. Very basic. Let's put the three of those together. So again, you'll hear this synth sound a lot in the charts. I know Keisha uses it, and lots of other artists are using it in their tracks. It's, it's, it's right out there right now. And then the third part I've got is the drum part. And actually, in this part of the song, all it is is the snare, and it's an, a 909 snare from the old Retro Drum Machine 909. And what I've literally done is played in the, the boom part. Play that from the beginning. That part of the track. So that's the part, that's the backing track to his part, apart from a thing that's a sweep sound, a synth sweep sound, but we're not going to look at that today. You've seen that in other videos anyway. So let's come back to the synth, and I want to show you something even more interesting, which is that if I just open this, the vintage filter, I've actually got expand running through that vintage filter. And let me show you the difference it makes. So, and you might have just seen me hit this button here, that's because if you hit that button, then when you keep a plug-in open, it will stay open while you open other plugins then. And often when you switch between plugins, they drop off the screen. That's how you have them all on the screen at the same time. Let me show you the difference it's making because this is expand on its own. Which is not bad, but let me show you with a vintage filter on it. Patterns it up. That's 
that's quite thin. It's got all that kind of, it's got all that kind of uh, top end that's a bit, bit, bit hissy and, and a bit, bit, bit sharp. And what the vintage filter does is it gives it that kind of retro feel again, which is, you can guarantee that the uh, producer on Chris Brown's tracks, it, I can almost guarantee that he's used some vintage stuff there. He's probably used the original Moog or something like that, or at least a synth that's, uh, that's up there. And we're using Expand, which is a free plugin. So to get that kind of retro sound, to get that thickness and that warmth, we're using this vintage filter and it really warms it up. As you can hear. And there we are. That's how you do it. Sorry I can't sing like Chris Brown. I'm certainly not going to do the years in the background, but I hope that's been a help. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.